Hello there, I am Deepak Varale and welcome to Certified OpenStack Administrator. COA is the first professional certificate offered by OpenStack Foundation. It's designed to help companies to identify top talents in the industry and help job seekers to demonstrate their skills. I will be your instructor for this course. Before we start, a brief introduction about myself. I have been adding bits and bytes in IT since 10 years now. I have very strong experience in supporting heterogeneous domain like retail, banking and telecommunication. I am really fortunate to have worked with big giants like IBM, Capgemini, Barclays and Etisalat. Presently I am contributing uh, as a freelancer and a PhD and consultant. I have extensive experience in Linux, AIX, OpenStack, Configuration Management, Automation, and NFVSDN. Let's take a look of what we got in the store. Now this is the home page uh, for this examination. This is where you will find all of the information and what what i did just is i just wrote a oh, coa certification in google and this is actually a first link which i opened uh, guys i will not be um, following i'll not be creating any slides for this course i think we should uh, just go ahead and start doing practical all the practical even how i'm opening how i'm uh, searching for resources and how I am getting resources I think this is also you should know and if you know this you don't need to you know once I'm done with this course you will probably not find me around so I don't want to keep you hanging in somewhere and just posting questions in Udemy or my LinkedIn or personal I will definitely answer your questions but I would love to uh, you know provide 100% input to you so that you will not get stuck in the future. So this is the home page and now you know how we landed on this page. It actually uh, tell you the exam fees and all the all the information on this page. So as you can understand it's gonna be virtual exam. It's a performance based exam and there are dozens of companies who are you know which are listed on this page. Uh, fortunately, as you'll be taking this course from me, you don't really need to go to any any of these companies to learn OpenStack. I will make sure that you have the knowledge and experience to clear the examination and st start working on OpenStack. So exam details. As you can see, the exam fees is $300. It gives you 12 months to write the exam. and the current examination is testing OpenStack version Newton. OpenStack version in actually start at E and now we are at Newton. Uh, so you can expect the next version as a Pike. And I know that's Pike actually based on P. The sequence, alphabetical sequence. So currently, uh, currently this exam is uh, testing OpenStack version Newton. Uh, the exam fees is 300. It's valid for 12 months once you bought it. Uh, you do have some uh, system requirement. We'll do this again. We'll come back to this uh, discussion when we do our final exam preparation tutorial. Um, the performance, it's a performance based examination. Uh, the duration of the exam is two and a half hours. Fortunately, you can retake this exam once. So, for example, if you lose first chance, you wrote the exam and you failed, you do have another retake for free. And the certification is valid for 36 months. So, as I mentioned, guys, as I will not be creating any slides for this. We'll go ahead and we'll understand what are the knowledge what is the knowledge requirement here and what how the domain wise weightage of the topic is. So I'm just clicking on another page which basically nothing but a requirement page here. So 
First, we'll understand what is OpenStack and its ecosystem. The weightage of it is 3. I'm expecting one question from this section. In section 2, we'll discuss something called identity management. It's a, a identity management module from OpenStack, a keystone responsible for authentication and authorization of the request. So any service user uh, you know, requests something to OpenStack, that request must be authorized by Keystone. So we'll understand what is Keystone, architecture of it, and you know all, all related concept of Keystone. We'll then create domain. We'll then, we'll then go ahead and understand domain, groups, projects, users, roles, and we'll create, we'll, we'll do the basic operation on this concept. And we'll finally, we'll try to restart the identity management service. We'll check, we'll try to manage it. And when I say manage, meaning if it's not working, we'll try to see the status, we'll try to restart it. And we'll understand how it's realized on the Linux system. The next section is dashboard. Now dashboard, the weightage is very less. It's 3% and it's a graphical user interface of the OpenStack called Horizon. We'll not spend a lot of our time here. But definitely we'll go ahead and see how it looks and you know, we'll, we'll do the basic operation which is expected from your side. The most important I believe um, uh, section is compute and this it actually compute host your instances. The, the, uh, it, it's the, it's the, uh, now compute is the module which basically it's not a module actually compute section. It will tell you how OpenStack hosts and where OpenStack hosts the instances. So we'll go ahead and see what are the flavors. We'll try to create instances. We'll understand what is instance. We'll try to create instance, shut down, terminate, and all these actions on the instance. We'll try to hook up the instance into the floating network. And we'll assign the floating ID IPs. We'll manage the floating IP for the instance. We'll try to open the console of the instance. We'll understand and we'll do the whole lifecycle management of the instance in this section. The next section is object storage it, and the weightage of it is 10%. In this section, we'll understand what is object storage and what's the module in OpenStack which provides object storage for us. We'll do the basic operation on object storage. In this next section, which is for 10%, we'll basically understand what is volume. We'll try to create a block storage and understand what is block storage. Quotas, we'll try to manage volumes. We'll try to back up volumes. Basically, whole life cycle of the volumes will be, um, we will be doing the practice on uh, block storage in this section. The most important, again, uh, this is again one of the most important module in this course is called networking. That's a neutron. We'll understand neutron and its components. We'll create networks. We'll understand networks. We'll understand routers and what will happen if you create a router. There are very advanced topic in this section called namespaces. Um, again, quotas for networking. We'll try to manage the networking service. The next section is heat orchestration. So, okay. The next uh, section is networking. In this section, we'll understand neutron and its component. We'll understand what is network, what are the neural you know, network and other concepts like routers, subnets in OpenStack. We'll try to create networks. We'll try to create subnets, routers, and we'll try to manage the networking component of OpenStack called Neutron. And finally, we'll we'll understand some advanced terms like ad, advanced. We'll finally, we'll understand some advanced concept like namespaces, TCP dump, and you know many other. Uh, related concepts the next section is heat orchestration um, now heat orchestration is a native orchestration 
uh, it's a native orchestration tool of OpenStack. So basically, you can use heat orchestration to orchestrate your workload. So we'll be uh, understanding what is heat orchestration. We'll be using heat to orchestrate our workload. We'll try to create something called stack, which is nothing but a uh, uh, our workload so we'll, we'll be launching instances we'll be creating networks using the heat we'll try to launch the whole virtual data center using heat templates in this section uh, in next section which is troubleshooting for 13 13 percent that's actually a good part of it so please to you know please try to concentrate on this section also it's really important from his exam perspective We'll be understanding what are the various log files of OpenStack and its component, how to take a backup of OpenStack instance and re restore it. We'll try to understand. It's all about troubleshooting, basically. So how to analyze database server, how to analyze host and guest OS and instance status, messaging server, meta state, metadata, OpenStack services, diagnostic service in, uh, incident. We'll try to backup and restore OpenStack instance, troubleshoot network performance and all, all of that, you know. And finally, we'll do the image management. So we'll basically understand what is image management, a uh, glance, uh, uh, image repository called glance module from OpenStack, which is responsible for managing your OpenStack images, which you will use to launch your instances on the fly. So we'll understand what are the what is glance, how it's configured, its components, how you can upload images and manage images there, um, how you can remove images, update images, and then we'll try find and finally, finally we will do the verify operation of the image service. As you know what lies ahead, let's not waste our time and start with another lesson. Thank you for your time today. See you in the next lecture.